Here is what seems to be a prank video, except the prank isn't really a prank. It's just a grown woman showing an entire area to a group of kids and adults, but it gets so much worse. The more digging you do on this strange channel, the more disturbing it gets. If your parents don't allow you to have TikTok, you may scroll through YouTube shorts instead. And if you do, you should pray you don't come across her channel. She creates some of the weirdest, most disgusting content I have seen in a while. She disguises this content by calling it prank content, but the truth behind it is much more creepy. I discovered this channel through a comment under one of my videos recommending I speak out about it. So I looked into it, and when I say it was unexpected, I mean it. So this channel has about 3 million subscribers, 99% of them coming from her shorts. Her shorts are all called prank videos, most of them consisting of her walking up to a stranger and pulling up her skirt, towel, or shirt. It is clear that all the people she pranks are actors because I've seen them multiple times. And this girl reminds me of the last channel I discussed like this because she titles all of her shorts so innocently. Like look at this title. It sounds so empowering when really all she's doing is wearing a fake belly and touching herself in public. But yeah, back to the point, it's obvious she has actors. Like she uses literally the same five people over and over again. But even if she is using actors, which I know she is, there's two things that are still wrong with this. First of all, she's still uploading these videos onto a platform which have plenty of young kids who may see this and be disgusted and creeped out like I was. Or maybe an older person will see this and think it's okay to do. The second problem is that while she clearly does stage these, she stages them in public where kids and random people have to witness it. So I guess while her actors are usually the main focus in most pranks, some random people also get roped in and she makes sure to show their full faces uncensored to the public. She covered one kid but doesn't cover most. And something even stranger is she likes to add some drama to her pranks. In basically every shorts prank, either a guy starts attacking her and she points at the camera frantically or a girlfriend of a guy attacks her after a so-called prank and the guy laughs about it. Mind you, these scenes are 200% staged, but there's always innocent bystanders watching. She also, I guess, decided to start music, which I honestly think is a way to kind of cover up what she's really doing, which is just sexually harassing people in public. She even puts music creator in her like bio, which I find kind of annoying considering she only has one music video and one song in total and over like a million prank videos that have nothing to do with her music. In her bio, she also acts like she's this feminist that's showing the world the female body is nothing to be ashamed of, which I agree. The female body is nothing to be ashamed of, but when you see some of the disgusting pranks she does, you'd see that she's just abusing this quote. So let's get into some of these disturbing pranks that she does. On one of her long form videos, she does an obviously staged boyfriend cheating prank where they use some girl to try to see if a boyfriend is cheating. Big surprise, he's cheating. On Honestly, one of the tamer pranks because no one in public has to witness it. She also loves the pranks where she walks up to people and removes her entire like towel. First of all, why is she even wearing a towel in public? Wait, why aren't you laughing? It's funny, you see. You need to fix your humor. Laugh already. She loves this Pokemon pajama prank where she ripped the entire area that would normally cover her bottom and she'll walk up to someone and pull the tail up, revealing you know what. And she also tried this Nutella prank where she spread Nutella all over a certain area and went around recording other people's reactions. And then she went a step further by rubbing it on people. Honestly, the most wholesome prank I have seen in years. Get this girl some kind of trophy. I'm clearly doing something wrong. Why research and animate for videos when I could apply Nutella to my butt and get 3 million subscribers? Sounds like a good investment to me. But honestly, this just shows how doing the most pathetic things on YouTube can get you somewhere. I also think of Jack Dodery when I say this. Him and his beloved pranks, which made him the most loved YouTuber on the platform. No, I'm kidding. Everyone hates him. And it's well deserved. I just don't understand how you can call any of this a prank. Flashing someone in public isn't a prank, neither is pulling up your skirt and shoving it in someone's face. It's just weird. And I am not in any way slut shaming. This has nothing to do with that. The part that makes this wrong is she is harassing strangers and posting it online. I hate to say this, but imagine if a guy did this, pulled down his pants and stuck it in a girl's face. I don't think he would keep his account for very long. I just hate the entire energy surrounding this account. I tried to see if she was like big on TikTok, but it seems like she may have been banned or never had an account in the first place. So why can't YouTube do the same if she was banned? And another point I want to make is she seems to purposely want kids in the shot. Like, kids aren't victims of the prank, rather the bystanders. That way, she won't face the same amount of backlash, but she'll get the same kind of results. She doesn't censor the kids' faces at all, so calling all online creeps, here are two random kids with their parents while I flash someone and they look over confused. And in multiple pranks, she uses fruit or other things in her pranks to resemble some sort of sexual act, and of course she makes it incredibly obvious. 
it's so inappropriate to do in public. And yes, kids witness it a lot of the time. So, in the end, it doesn't really matter that she uses actors because the public are truly the ones getting pranked. If you pull up her comments, literally every single one says cringe button or reporting now, etc. Overall, just sad to see accounts like this thrive. YouTube Shorts makes it so easy for shock value rage bait content to gain lots of views and thrive. So, I will be washing my eyes out with bleach as soon as I'm done recording this video. I need to unsee everything. Perhaps a therapist might help. I hope she enjoys her 3 million which she built off of lazy, repetitive, inappropriate rage bait content. So what do you think? Are the kids in this video purposely put in or by accident? Is her content dangerous or just harmless pranks? If you do comment harmless pranks, I disagree completely, but whatever, comment it just to make my head blow off. Thanks for watching, subscribe to support the channel, and I'll see you in an upcoming video. This one will be discussing the downfall of a TikToker who was very, very famous. Or at least was.